Hey, this is Zyda Rose for Game Shampoo. And we are back with the Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke Challenge. Yeah, the crew's just been healed up. I've done a little bit of grinding. Yeah, you know, just get a level or two more on a few people. Souls is officially in the party. Got her up a level to 19. Matoya is up to 22. Yeah, just kind of arrange the team in a very willy-nilly fashion. So, I think it's time to head in here. What is in here? Have I gone in here? Oh, I know what here is. Here sounds like a gym. Let's see. Gym with a lot of water aesthetics. So... The pumpkin's actually a pretty good lead. Reptar's horrid. Yeah, pretty much like this entire section. Bond is great because of water absorb. If this is... Yep, this is very like... Yeah, this is the gym home I can... Kokoran. Ah... <sighs> So, let's begin with a quick and simple leech life, uh, return. Let's hit him return. Had to go be fur daddy. My rabbit is bounding around, and if I don't pay attention to what she's doing at least a little, there's a good chance she'll start eating some of the wall. Because she likes to chew on wooden things, since they are good for her teeth. Crab hammer. Water type attack. That has... Oh! Right, crab hammer hits really freaking hard. Uh, no. No, 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 no. I am not taking any freaking chances. Super potion on the pumpkin. Patch. All right, yeah, crab hammer hits like a truck, but has the typical downside of being less accurate. Leech life. Because that's stab and it's super effective against that thing. Heals, which is always awesome. Alright, that's one down. Yeah, and I've, I gave uh, souls. Of course, I gave souls the experience shared because I want souls to actually be freaking relevant. And the best way to do that, fight them. You know what? Let's. Ooh, that is a gamble. Well, let's start with Leech Life. This'll tell me plenty. It's got, yeah, it's got that poison type in I was thinking it would have. It doesn't have Sludge. Oh, Sludge is bad. So hit neutral, which I like. All right, hit him for thun Thunder Wave. Introduces the paralysis into the equation. Monda Pumpkin, I don't, cool. You're alive. Patch you up again. Cool. All right, well, it's slower than me to begin with. Oh man, I'm just hoping it doesn't do anything like really bad to me. I can seem to be able to eat two at my present Level. I mean, it's got one level on me. I should. <sighs> yeah, I want to use Wild Charge. But Wild Charge being a physical move with actual drawbacks, really bad. Hey, okay, that sets him to 60. 
Finally, I get the break I was thinking I'd get much earlier. Oh, wow. And, uh... Then the music cycles. Alright, the pumpkin is now level 24. That is why I taught the pumpkin return. It's still a physical attack. It still follows that stat boost. Oh, man, do I, do I want you to stay in the lead? Do I want to change over? All right, Flash, what you got? Sandvale. Hard part is your ground water, so water attacks do neutral. Yeah, I'll take much. Yeah, take the chance. Paranoia save. I'm still working with a fan-made game, which means this isn't at like the same quality as the original Pokemon games. Where this gets its inspiration. I, I'm going to perform more safety saves. Just to be sure that uh, I can make it through this game without it crashing on me. Mind you, the crash count is all of once? Yeah, once. And that was way back in the beginning and off screen because I was doing some grindy at the point. <sighs> okay. It's probably going to keep trying to set up Sand Tomb. I don't know why. Oh! No, that makes sense. Sand Tomb is a ground type attack, which is super effective thanks to its electric type. Plus, it's a chain move, it does more damage over time. However, I have Leech Life, which is super effective on this Gokaran. Alright. Nice. Good 77. Souls is now level 20. Trying to learn Spike Cannon. Ooh, Spike Cannon. That sounds like a chain move. Are you... They can hit two to five times in a row? Wow! 20 damage per hit with 100% accuracy? That is nuts. Ancient power is too good. Yeah, there's not a lot to it. You know what? Refresh. Yes, it's wonderful how... Yeah, it is wonderful to have a move which can get rid of those straight up. Rain up. Oh, no, I didn't want to change. Because Brain Lip is water... Yeah, it's water psychic. And Bug is still super effective against Psychic. Which means the pumpkin is just healing, healing, healing. Ooh, Water Pulse. Has a chance for confusion. Ouch! That hit like a mother-loving truck. Hmm. You know what? Let's... I know I'm gonna get more later. This'll give me a much more accurate number unless this dude is beyond absurdly lucky. Huh. I might just want to... The pumpkin is nice and all. Screw it. I need Bon. Bon can ab literally absorb water moves and has the type advantages that I need against this brain lip. Brain lip. However you pronounce that. Oh, and there's more to come. Dang. <sighs> oh yeah, it should be like one or two hits. Oh, one, one shot it. Alright, the pumpkin and bon aren't gonna get a lot, but Souls is gonna get plenty. Go cut her in. Nope, let's just keep Bon in. Uh, there's going to be a very quick trip to the Pokemon Center after this to keep the pumpkin in the fight. Yeah, Bon's going to two-shot this Kokoran. Okay, so you're lowering your attack to boost your attack... Oh, you're dropping speed to boost attack and defense. I know most stuff. I'm not always looking at the screen when I'm saying that. I know Curse. I've used builds 
Uh, what was that? Um, uh, Mammal Swine? Yeah, Mammal Swine. Had a lot of fun with my Mammal Swine. Huh. I will admit, I'm enjoying the more meta nature of this game. It's more self aware than the other Pokemon games. It actively acknowledges our world, which is cool. Yes, patch the crew. By the crew, I mean like one of them. I wish I could use souls, but souls is too weak. Well, for now. In a little while, souls will actually be strong enough. Alright, this confirms. Yep. For a sailor watching Titanic, I don't really expect much else. Yes, I do have water types. They're awesome. I really hate that one. The salamander-esque one. Step one, induce paralysis. Ensures my speed advantage. Oh, seven points of damage, not bad. That is a massive risk. You know what? No risk, no reward. That's Nuzlocke in a nutshell. Okay. Cool. So, the pumpkin just handed that thing its butt. Huh. Nah. Thunder wave. Okay, water moves are now augmented. Slowed them down. No, you're bug water, so let's hit him with return instead. Gauge that. All right. Yeah, I want to weaken him a little before I chance using Wild Charge. Wild Charge is a risk. It's a powerful move, is the biggest thing. But by lowering and that spung, spungery down, I made sure, yes, grow my friend. And do I want to finally change? Yes. Wow, I'm just, like, ingrained now. I see a brain lip. I immediately call out Bond. Because between Bug Bite... But I'll, I'm using Bug Bite just to gauge the power. Wow, I can take that down to, like, two shots with that. No, three. Three to four shots. All right, whereas if I use Struggle Bug, even with it, the Amnesia, which ups... Eh, yeah, it's still gonna be three shots. Ooh, you just made him sleepy. I still get another attack. That's enough to kill you. Uh, there might... Have some need to make a quick run back. So I don't want to tap my supplies just yet. Well, if I'm not in battle, I don't want to tap my supplies is where that's going, honestly. Alright, quick retreat. Gotta heal up the crew a little. Because, uh... Yeah, the pumpkin's doing work. I... I just realized I've neglected a huge source of potential damage. Here I am in the town with the department store and I haven't hit up the department store. Hold on, the the uh, the gym attempt is going to briefly be held. All sorts of goods. 
Yes. Items for your general trader needs. Evolutionary stones and TMs. Uh, Alright, so I want to be on the third floor. All right, up to three, down to two. As I need to see, talk to me. Blizzard, hyper beam, thunder. Oh, I can't afford thunder. I'll swipe the game plan. Oh man, these are like massively expensive. But, oh man, no, I want thunder for sure. Uh, where's the medicine? Give me the medicine. I got a little money in there. I have money. How do I have money, you ask? I rev uh, ooh, two revives, even. Not much, but it's something. Full heal, heal powder. What are you worth? You're worth that. Full heal. Yes, I know that I'm like clearing out stuff I might eventually have wanted, but full heal covers everything these do, and then some. Ooh, full restore for 1500. We're getting there. Not quite what I want, but we're getting there. What are you offering for that? Not really worth it to me. Suvel, Dusk Stone, Thunder, Water, Fire, Escape Ropes, Max Repel. Alright, what you packing? Ah. Hardstone and Everstone. Along with the usual bits. Huh. Okay, so it's just straight in there. Oh man, they have thunder, but it's 55k, and I don't have 55k. Plus, you know, I gotta double check some other things. Alright, potion, super, hyper, max. Ooh, polka dolls. Those are useful. Not gonna go for them right now. Alright, what, what are you packing? Ooh, okay, great. Ultra, dive, dust, quick, heal, net, timer, luxury. Wow, everything. Well, yeah, your basic variety of balls. Found in a Pokemon game. I will definitely be wanting to come back here again. I thought I might be able to afford a TM, which should help. But that's all of Thunder. Getting Thunder would be amazing. Give that to uh, the Pumpkin and I wreck shop. But I don't have the funds for that. To get the funds for that, I gotta take on trainers. Trainers means risking my Pokemon a bit. Oh, what do you say? What will Kelly think of me now? I don't know. Okay. That's all I gotta say. Nombre. Okay, you're a uh, water grass. I'm a bug electric. Let me count the ways this is bad for you. Fake out. Does a little damage. And flinch. Yeah, seven points damage. Guaranteed flinch, though. In the competitive scene? Oh, man. Fake out is gold. Ah, it's not like amazing though, I gotta say that. <sighs> what was it? Yeah, it was a sunny day team and... Yeah, it was like sunny day and a uh, rain dance team that I built. Both used a variant on a Persian. Which, uh, no, they were my weather provider. Okay, 37 to 51. Doing good. Bubble beam. Should technically resist that. Ouch. Okay, the pumpkin's getting swapped after this. Can't have them that low. 
Umbre down souls. All right, yeah. The pumpkin is great for so many things. Bon. Wow, Bon, I'm leaning on you really hard. Not gonna lie. Now here I hope that doesn't have anything like water absorb. Not very effective, and I still did a significant amount of damage. It did equal parts damage. Alright, let's try what I believe is the stronger... Nope! Oh, now we did get the drop in. And sludge, I'm sure, is a special based attack. So, bubble beam. Alright, down two stages on the special attack. I need to heal up on be on the safe side. There we go. Now, now Bon can just tank it. Ah. This is why I was holding on to my items. Smog. Ooh, good chance to... Already. Onwards we go. Come on, Bon. You rock. That's my Bon. Yes. Yes, I do. Say, so, doing multiple things at once. Well, okay. Very briefly. Yes! Grow souls! Grow. Actually, remind me. Now, this is one of those things that I need to remember about uranium. Some of the Pokemon I'm not. Pokemon picked up evolutions, like Dunsparce. And another is Corsola. I do not remember Corsola's info. If it's like a move based thing, like the pumpkin was. Oh, yeah, never actually touched on that. The pumpkin has a move based evolution. So, whenever the pumpkin learns Wild Charge, which it learns naturally at level 22, it will then evolve into its next form. Yeah, it's a lot easier for me to simply refer to them by the names I've given them. And I can't remember if my Corsola souls... There are exceptions, because I like Corsola. Corsola is from the main staple of games. When was that introduced? I forget when that was introduced. Well... At any rate, I'm gonna keep pushing through this gym. Oh, here and there. I gotta find Tally is the thing. Why do I think this is... I think this is a dead end. Thanks for confirming what I was thinking. I couldn't tell till I got close enough to trigger your fight. Alright, uh... Right, I need to remember that thing's... Oh, right, that's water poison. Water poison. Well, do my typical lead-in on... Ooh, Aqua Jet. Just as well, it wouldn't have mattered what I... attacked with first. Ooh, still, that was... six... <sighs> six... Uh, 26 points of damage, ouch. Well, you can survive another one of those. Oh wow, it is just leading in hard with that. So, yeah, I'm. I was tanking that rather intentionally. Now, that's you. 
All right, paralysis kicks in. All right, well, unless it keeps doing that. Oh, crap, it tried again. I was saved by the paralysis. Okay, that should wreck him. Hard part is, that also means, ouch, that is gonna hurt on the pumpkin. Kokoran. Wow, that thing is absurdly popular around here. Uh, you know what? No. Pumpkin can stay in that way. I can leech life you. Ah, there it is. Oh, right, sand tomb. That was the thing I was forgetting about there. Yeah, the two sources of damage are gonna hurt a lot more. But that's how it goes sometimes. No, I know the pumpkin can live. Okay, I'm feeling hella shaky about the pumpkin. I'm counting on this with a kill. Wow. Now I got what I was after. Hokaran, the pumpkin is now level 25! Souls also gained XP. Yes, yes you are. Alright. Yes, I'm running out and healing a lot, but... That's because I'm just counting on literally two Pokémon for this entire gym. One of whom I want to level up. And since I'm doing that, that means it's taking a little longer. Uh, well, kind of the hard part is the best way to level up is against trainers. And as much as I try and cut the grind out, well, there are limits to how much I can limit the grinding outside of, uh, you know, what I'm doing. Yeah, outside of my recordings. There we are. Those are the right words. Those are the words I mean to use. Because if I'm fighting trainers, that ups the chances of a uh, Pokemon dying. And, um, I'm not gonna... I'm going like, okay... We're, uh... Yeah. Now I'm going to play the long game. Ah... <sighs> I will play the longer game, because I have to. There we go. Oh. Okay, so Corsla evolves into Corso Reef through leveling up and high friendship. Okay, uh, one of the most annoying ways in my mind to um, level Pokemon up. Like, Seriously, really freaking annoying. Wait, it doesn't affect Fokokoran? All this time. Huh. All this time. What is your typing, Kokoran? I know. I know I've asked and I know I've looked. I'm just forgetting. Rain um Okay, it's not gonna be that much longer before I win. That's a crab hammer. Ugh. I keep forgetting about the after damage from frickin' sand tomb. That, that just keeps giving me scares. Yes, we are changing. Cause, yeah, I'm not keeping one of my favorite dudes there. 
to potentially get their butt handed to them. Now, I'm gonna bring in one of my hard hidden dudes, a dude who has proven they can practically one to two shot these things. Ah. Struggle bug. Might, yeah, one or two more hits. Kinda depends on what you do. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not gonna use some, like, uh, grass ground. This freaking grass ground, this Kokoran. <sighs> uh, oh! Okay, I missed the yawn, is what that means. Don't feel like waiting through it, I'ma just patch them. Oh man, do I when Yeah, yeah, let's... This episode is going to push a little longer, because I am uh, determined to get through this gym. On Souls, Tubja. Tubja is that water, water poison. Water poison, water ground, a rock. Not Bon. Bon, I'ma just keep you in. Because last time it was just hitting me with Aqua Jack repeatedly. That's way annoying. With you out, generally the AI is not gonna be stupid enough to just repeatedly Aqua Jack. There we go. Mind you, I'm still gonna be using a lot of a singular attack to win, but hey, it's gonna work. All right, what you got? Huh. Come on. Use your water attacks, huh? There are your water attacks. Boom. Down. All right, 28. Sure, Griffin. I will fry all my Pokemon. Wow. That uh, sounds like it's really freaking boring. Like, really, really boring. Alrighty. Ah, back to the... Here once more. I mean, I could edit all this out. But, you know, I don't, I do not want shenanigans called on me. Because, yeah, I've said enough to implicate I'm willing to manipulate one or two things. But I will be very clear and say no. No, I'm not actually going to take advantage of saves and all that. Now, if I'm grinding, I'm doing so very freaking carefully because if one of these Pokemon die, I want it to be recorded. As if it's recorded, no. <sighs> yeah. Now, honestly, the entire thought there is this is a journey. I'm providing my thoughts and commentary, and all of you get to come along with me. Now, don't forget, there is a comment section. I honestly do read the comments. If there are things you want to see, great. Let me know. If you're... Huh? Rain Roar. Huh. So become a Pokemon trainer and... Sorry, being distracted by this. But yeah, comments, let me know what you want to see. Please, please do not encourage me to kill off my Pokemon. This game's gonna do a good enough job with that without me actively trying. 
All right, level 26 tub gel. All right, uh, I'm not gonna insta swap the pumpkin. I'm going up against, uh, yeah. Yeah, when I hit a gym later, coral break. That hurt. Uh, it's still above half, but no. I'll do some switching and swapping. Any and all chances. Okay, Coral Break is a physical water move then. Okay, so I can beat some attacks. That's cool. Shot, bug bite. Uh, let's see, water poison. Through tub jaw, sent. Oh, you're gonna regret that! Boom. Ooh, and hit with the drop. Mind you, by the way the rules work here, that means, ooh, wow. That friend that held on. Points to you for, oh, rest. Crafty, crafty. The rest puts it to sleep for the next two turns. The exception to that is if the brain lip is pulled from combat before then, then it's a uh, standard sleep status. So it'll sleep on for like two to three turns once it comes back, no, two to five turns once it comes back into play. With rest, oh yeah, you needed to heal that thing. Though honestly, I'm wrecking that thing. Um, I've got a good chance to draw out all Callie's items at this rate. No? Oh, it was probably... No, yeah, the brain lip was about to wake up. I know that. Okay, Souls is 23. Lucky chant. Lucky chant, that's a status move. Ah, prevents critical hits. Not something I'm too worried about. Yes, Souls doesn't need Lucky Chant. All right, we're back to Tub Jaw. No. Mon Stain in play. Honestly, I'm kind of wondering why? Why did she immediately pull Tub Jaw once I brought in Bond? Probably gonna get my answer. It could full well be that it only has water type attacks. Okay, that's two super potions. Most gym leaders, it's... Oh. Yeah, two, maybe three of them. Wait, super effective? That means I got your typing wrong. Swablu. Ah, Seb, Seblu, Seblu, Sablu, Sablu, there we are. You are water ground versus my water bug. Swing shot brings down your already low. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of speed to start. I have the speed advantage. There's no point in me using string shot. Rain Dance augments the power of water type attacks, but as long as I've got Bon here, there's, um, yeah, that's not going to help you as much as you think. Heck, it gives me an advantage. It keeps coming back to this tub jaw. Why? Why do you keep pulling and then throwing it back in? I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. There, dead. Dead, what? what? What's going on there? Cock around. Oh, uh, that would be the evolution of uh, Kokoran. Whoa. Okay. Come on. 
Come on. I was literally just looking at this thing. Uh, okay. It is grass, gra grass ground. I'm water bug. So that means bubble beam. No, let's attack with struggle bug. Because then I, well, regardless, I get stab and super effective. I am taking a chance, though most grass attacks are going to be at least weakened because of the bug typing. Ouch, that, that did a good 30 points of damage. Uh, okay, so it's down to whomever's faster and still has items, I'd say. No, struggle bug is going to hit super effective, regardless. Whereas bubble beam is only going to hit for neutral damage plus its stab. Ooh, that's right. If it's doing 30 damage, the rain stopped. All right, unless you heal, I win. I win. The cock around. is defeated. I've defeated another gym leader! Thank you! I will gladly accept that title badge. Woo! Long episode. Ooh! Water Pulse! Water Pulse is a great move. Yep. Use it as much as you want. Training to be lifeguards, too. Neat. All right. All right, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna call it here. You don't have to watch me run back to the Pokemon Center one more time. Just just let us bask in the glory of the MVP of the battle. <laughs> A water bug Pokemon. Bonsav, my spunnery. Who's most of the way to level 29. Wow. Been at this almost a month, holy crap. You know, we're coming along really well and wowza. There is a lot in your defense, EVs. All right. Wow. All struggle bug. Struggle bug 13 times. Oh, right. No, no, we're, we're basking in the MVP. Bon. Bon Sav. Bon, you continue to save me. Keep at it, mate. Keep at it. Alright, this has been Zeta Rose for Game Shampoo. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, keep up to date on this Nuzlocke Let's Play. And I will see everyone next time for more Nuzlocke goodness. Data.